You yeah. look like Eric Cantona. If Eric Cantona was eating meatballs that he'd made himself. Yeah, sorry, I meant that. I was having <laughs> broadband. Your mouth moves at a different time from the words coming out. My internet connection is unstable. All right, Eric. I'm back where I was for the early uh, jockey shows. Yeah. In the bed, eating stuff. Well, I think between us, without all Keane's nonsense behind us, this is quite a pleasing background. It's a training game. It's a chance to try out ideas, maybe stuff that you wouldn't... Maybe you've got a category idea or an idea for a move and you're not sure. Mm. This is the time. This is the time. It's, it's a friendly, but we will still play by the rules. No one knows who starts when Key isn't there. This has never happened, has it? No, that's true. Hold on a second. Wow. Well, this does make it easier. But it also makes it squeezier. What's happened to your fingernails? Well, I don't know. What's happened to your fingernails? They're dirty. Yes, it's called filming something that's set in a in um, period. Your head looks like a thumb. <laughs> that's what it's called, is it? By the way, your head looks fucking perfect. <laughs> well, what what footballer's head does his head look like? Yeah, you do look like a famous footballer. A famous really? former footballer. Well, there must be... Uh, hang on a minute. It's someone, I don't know, poo poo, if they were eating meatballs that they made themselves. Which are big if, small if, tiny if, I am. I have made these meatballs. <laughs> big if, small if, tiny if, I am. I have made these meatballs. <laughs> I think I'll go for your friend of mine, Keith Gillespie. Yeah. Well, this is enormous. This was meant to be... This This was moments away from being a training game. And now... I've got, a, I've got a problem. I, unfortunately, what you can't do is say, good, I'm out. I'm out? Okay, I'm out. And then we have, this is a little bit of a detail for the, uh, you haven't made any sense. We've got a WhatsApp group, haven't we? Because we're friends. We're friends. So I say, I can't do this because I'm shooting a period piece. <laughs> but you know, I still get the Zoom link. So what do you do when, you, when the Zoom link comes in? We were just yeah, about to work out who starts when you're not playing, because we we've never done it without you. Yeah, also, we know the, phrase, the phrase definitely isn't who starts when you're not playing. You have to sort of focus a little bit on some of the stuff you say at times. Have you got fucking your He's got, he's certainly, he's already had breaking your broadband as well. I made some eat balls. They're not called eat balls. <laughs> what count are you in? The Solent. Have you just been refereeing an American football game? Or is that just how you dress? Pardon me? <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, I just have a sip of this, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hands off your head. Your no, lips. You're what are, are his lips all over the place for you? Yeah, sometimes he's talking properly and sometimes he's talking whopperly and I never know what to do. I can't think of a word to do with the internet that starts with S. And he's got a solar service, basically. Thank you. <laughs> he's got a solar signal. He's got a solar signal. <laughs> but also, that looks like it wasn't your hand. Do that again with the glove. Is there another person with you? Yeah, <laughs> that's not your arm. No, that's not his arm. <laughs> he's got a different person. He's got a helper. Well, look, are you playing? Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, you're going to catch... I had no mental preparation. Go, go, go. Key to play. <laughs> well, um, I've heard what you've heard. Today. No, we haven't said anything yet. You haven't. We haven't said anything yet. Do you want to guess what's going to come down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Confetti. Uh, bubbles. Slinky. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, Carol Vaughan. Carol Vorderman. Carol yeah. Vorderman. Are you not getting my signals? Should I try and go on to the Premier Inn Wi-Fi? Maybe. What are you doing it on at the moment? Just sort of wind up one. Oh, no. I hate gloves that you can't actually use on your phone. A lot of the gloves you can now. Are these job gloves? Is this our job now? Uh, we, I tell you what, let's guess the category, shall we? Yeah. What will he say? Is it no more people that are... Just really good at maths, that sort of thing you might do. I think it might be a photograph holding a number. For a bit of context for the viewer, we haven't played for a couple of weeks. No, we're out of practice. We're um, we're rusty. We haven't played since the bath problem. <laughs> We've not played since the bath problem. And the bath problems are two weeks ago. Oh, Waterman. No more people who, when yeah. you think about it, 
If. If you think about it. Thank you. Yeah. We give. What I'm watching. Um. Carol Vorderman. No more people who. Uh, there's a photo uh. of them with their handwriting. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, that is interesting. I never really think of numbers as handwriting. <laughs> yeah. No, now I think about it, she did have a label maker and she was printing them out and cutting them up and putting them on that board. Do you think you've ever seen her write a word? I'm not saying it's not handwriting, but have you ever seen her write a word? You're coming with me and we're letting Lockie out. And my internet connection's unstable. Yes. Look, yes, well, a couple of things here. First, Lockie's in. Secondly, fucking Mr. Broadband has got some of the worst fucking Mr. Broadband I've seen in my life. I, I, I can hear all this. All right, I'm putting you out to bed and I'm going on to the other Wi-Fi. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, hi. Joan of Arc. Yeah. Several people, English, not their first language. John Embury. Pardon me? John Embury. Why can't you say your person's name? I was going to go for <laughs> Philip de Freitas, but then I worried that maybe he sounds a bit French. John Embury. No more people. A little bit of Googling. And half of the first ten photos are white trousers. Oof. Well, I don't really think I've got much of an option here. Uh, <laughs> I, I think you are pretty much. Well, it's Czech, isn't it? It's Czech, but I don't think it's Czech, mate, because I can still play. Down, down, da, down, down, down. Mine didn't work. Penelope Pit Stop. Penelope uh, Pit Stop. No more people who. Um, you got 90 seconds to find um, their image on a t shirt on. Are you doing that game where you've got to say one word, then the next person says the next word, but you do them all? No, people who cannot find them, their image on a <laughs> t-shirt, on Amazon. And no, people who can or cannot. Can. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, really. I mean, I'm interested in the challenge, but just because it's a g- quickie game. Shall we do it? Shall I do it? Oh, yeah. well, well. well! In my head, she wears white trousers. Well, what has got to find the first ten pictures on Google and just see if half of them are wearing white trousers. They're either white or pink. Well, everything's either white or pink. They must be pink. It must be a little pink trouser thing, mustn't it? Or white. Well, that's what I think. In my head, they're white. I thought like a sort of jogging, like a jogpers. Jogpers? Jogpers. Oh, jogpers. Okay. The first ten. Pink trousers. Pink trousers. Are we not going to see any of them? I can if you want. But basically, it's always pink trousers. Pink trousers, pink trousers, pink trousers. The first ten. It's pink trousers, it's white boots. And white boots. You know what? That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of white, white boots. It's white boots, but it's it's pink with the best one in the world. Trousers. Sometimes in this game, you think of something and then sort of try and make it work in, in your head. You know This is another great sentence. <laughs> I'll tell you what, a lot of the sentences that I do, you can get them just about across the line if you do a double salute at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, have you finished your sentence? Well, would I double salute halfway through? I can't remember. Yes, I've finished my sentence. All right, we're, we're up and running. I have one remaining quality challenge and one remaining turd bag challenge. The thing is, you can't say some people now because some of you selfish players have put categories into the mixer. Uh, you can't have that. Yep. Yes. Yes. Looking at the timer, you've got. Well, you've still got four minutes twenty-nine, and the time's going up today. Are you all right? Oh, okay, 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 cool, cool. That's going to go all the way up to twenty-four hours before you're out. <laughs> oh, it is going down now, actually. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Mm-hmm. William Wordsworth. I really my bad. I worry in Wordsworth. No people that published a poem. Here's a burning. Has it got to be published in a, a book? Or can it be just published on the internet? No, I think if you can find a poem attributed to them, that'll do me. Yeah. 
That'll do me nicely. Oh dear. Oh, I tried to sneak away to the toilet while the fucking broad shirt brought itself out. Well, look, do I do another challenge and get out of here? Yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, not really, you can do. Well, who's Wordsworth? When was he around? Oh, I can't do another challenge. It's fine. People Wilfred read... Johnson. Oh, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's piss poor, no more jockeys. Piss <laughs> poor. See, no more blog. people or things who are younger than me. Jamiroquai. Oh, Jamiroquai. They played at my wedding, Jamiroquai, I think. Would it Would it have been them? No, hot chip. It was a lovely day. It was New Year's Day. It was a lovely day. It was New Year's Day. I've got a new receptacle. Would you like to see my receptacle? Well, I would love to see your receptacle, oh yeah. Okay. There it is. Goodness gracious me. Is it... What's that? A, a, a Sort of like a penguin or something? Or No. A Parrot mug. Parrot mug. But how you sing about that, I don't know. I suppose I suppose it's doo-doo. I suppose it's doo-doo. Parrot mug. Doo-doo. Parrot mug. Doo-doo. Parrot mug. Doo-doo. Hi! Hi! Trousers, nothing. That's me. Henry Hoover. Do you mean the Hoover or the president? I don't think there's been a president called Henry Hoover yet. Not far off. No more people who, if you take one letter out of their surname, you've got a verb. In this case, hover. Well, I'll challenge. That's what oh. I do. That's what I do. I'm a machine. I think he'll go on Amazon and find a T-shirt with Henry on. Ah, well... No, not a lot here. I've got to say, there's a T-shirt with a Hoover on, but it's not really Henry. And I don't need to say any of this till the time's up. Why is there no T-shirt with Henry Hoover on on Amazon? Is it because it's official? Why is there no broadband where you can do three words in a row? Is it because it's official? Oh. Horn, it's all out. It's all out of challenges. <laughs> there's very little Henry Hoover costumes to be had. I've got to say that's the honest. That's God's honest truth. Did you think? Did you think I was onto a good challenge there? I thought it was worth doing. I thought it was worth doing. I thought it was worth doing, and worth pursuing. I thought it was worth doing, and worth pursuing, and not worth ruining. Whoa. I mean, okay, I still, I still, I still want to do another challenge. Oh, yeah. yeah go. It'd be exciting. It'd be, you either win or you're out. Well, you either knock you out, you're out. True, he wouldn't walk on it. And then we'd just be in, uh, we'd be stuck and I'd be gone. You won't go. He's gutless, this guy. He won't go for it. Well, I'm the only one who's challenging so far. Trevor, if I challenge and he doesn't walk, I have to go home, don't I? Yeah, you have to go home. All right, we'll challenge then. He's done it. I don't think English is a Hoover's first language. (laughs) I think is a Hoover's first language. What do you think his first language is? English. (laughs) Can you prove it? By the way, I've only seen him speak once, and it's in your show where uh, you've got Henry Hoover, who says, but but, 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 Henry Hoover. Yeah, but that's me saying He's a bit of a character, isn't he? No, he's a Hoover. You weren't going for the character Henry Hoover, were you? Henry the Hoover. I didn't say a a vacuum cleaner, did I? I didn't say a a, a blender. I said Henry the Hoover. Yeah, but that's a Hoover. Yeah, but that's a a personification, isn't he? He's a a little chap who's a Hoover. Yeah, exactly. He's a Hoover. And I think a Hoover's first language isn't English. You've got to remember, in my show, it's a trumpeter with a Hoover on his head. Called Henry, Henry the Hoover? No, called Joe. Is it if I Google where where they're made? No, it's the Hoover. But when but when Henry the Hoover talks, my <laughs> argument is Henry the Hoover doesn't talk because he's a Hoover. I'd, yeah. I'd be in a much better position here if you didn't have a show where you have Henry the Hoover doing a song. <laughs> yeah, but you've got to remember we don't have Henry the Hoover doing a song. We've got Joe Auckland with a Hoover on his head doing a song. <laughs> oh yeah, what's oh how do the lyrics go? Diddle to Henry Hoover. Diddle to Henry. He's a short little fat guy. He's wearing a Hoover on his head, this chap. Your argument is that when Joe puts it on his head, he speaks. If you're, you're saying your character was the Henry the Hoover from our show, is that your argument? My argument is sort of a floating argument, I must admit. <laughs> you can definitely make things talk. Like you could make a duck talk in a show, but it doesn't mean the duck's first language is English. What's Donald Duck's first language? Donald Duck's first language is English. 
But the, uh, the animals on that walk on the wild side, their, their first languages weren't English. Mm. Tricky one, actually. I mean, I reckon you could probably find an example on the internet of another country using Henry the Hoover and voicing it. And if that was before our show, I'd probably say that was the first language. I don't think we were probably the only people to voice Henry the Hoover. That's quite a good argument. I've heard worse things said. What is Henry Hoover's first language? It's an English name, but then it could be Henri. It does say the vacuums are all based on British names. It is a British manufacturer. His first language will be English. Well, you think when he finally speaks, it will be English? We've got a philosophical dispute because... Big, big finally. It is a big finally. <laughs> I think they will be discontinued before they talk. He's an English person with a very long, very sniffy nose. It's an English company. I think it's like going. For, you know what I think it's like going for Big Ben. You think Big Ben's first language is English? I'd be surprised if it's German. I'd be surprised if it's English. I think it's Bong. You think it's Bong? I think his only language is Bong, and I think Henry's only language is. I think he speaks Hoover. What well, if you said Lockie, the dog? What's her first language? English, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the Gun. fact that he's called Henry Gun. the Hoover means he's a Hoover. I'm not massively confident on the whole meeting being recorded. Oh, uh, Horn? Yes? I'll let you two wonderful looking men duke it out. Are you walking? <laughs> you know, if you want to take your life into your own hands, Horn, far be it from me. That's not my hand, by the way. Don't know where that's gone from. Well, it's very honourable walk. It'll be an honourable squawk down there. You watch. Goodness me. Well, what it means is one of us will draw level with Key here at the top of this um, very exciting set, actually. I think my tactic of having the worst broadband in fucking Cheers works. All right, so is it a case of... Okay, Herbert Hoover. That's who I meant. Is that Jay Edgar? How's it Jay Edgar? I don't know, who's Herbert Hoover? <laughs> I think Jay Edgar Hoover was an FBI guy. I think Herbert Hoover was a Presley. All right, Herbert Hoover. He's going for Herbie Hoover. President of the USA in the, in the oldie days. The only thing is he could infringe categories because I, I can't, of course, remember them all. No one can, can they? At this I point. know, and I think I'll probably challenge and I'll probably not get it right, just so you know, and that'll be me done. And I'll have a record of challenging every single guy. <laughs> it's going to be the same category again. No more people, if you take one letter away, <laughs> they've got a um, verb in their surname. Well, I'm tempted now, to... Now, here we go. Well, there's two that I'm tempted on. I can say my wor wordings, because I think this is yep. going to end in a challenge. My wordings. Yeah, say, say your wordings. Say your wordings. I can say my wordings. My one wording, my first wording, is with one I was tempted on Wordsworth, that we might see his handwriting, because he might have signed a declaration. And the other one is whether you get a T-shirt with all the presidents of America on. But mm. how would you know Herbert Hoover was one of them? I mean, I'm more worried about one of these than the other, I think. If it was a photo of them writing, I don't know when he was born, but I can't imagine there's a photo of him. And to get the handwriting in the picture is unlikely. So let's send little Tim Key off on an Amazon hunt for a T-shirt with, with Herbert all Hoover. all the of the USA. Well, well we, we can see that it's a man, but we don't know which man it is. <laughs> I mean, I can just about make up President Herbert Hoover. Yeah. T-shirt. And you could get that tomorrow, can you? You can get it delivered tomorrow. Do you want it? Yeah. What size? Large. Why is there no Henry Hoover? Well, because it's, I don't think you want to wear a t-shirt of a Hoover around, do you? <laughs> I guess you don't want a t-shirt with something that can't talk on it. Well, it's one of the strangest games, I'd say. I think it's one of the derangedest games. <laughs> I think it's it's one, one of the, it is one of the derangedest games. But the fact is, when, we, when everyone dusts themselves down, Horn wins it. Big everyone. It does mean that Horn is close to winning Horn is in the frame, win the set, and would then win the match. It's it was really speedy work for me. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it's gonna, I'm gonna wake up and it hurts. Yeah, it probably hurts tomorrow. Yeah, it hurts at the weekend. It's all right on Sunday, but then back on Monday it still hurts. And Horn now, if he was to win the next match, well, the next game would have a match point, right? Because Horn um, played a very aggressive game. First game where no one else was challenged. Horn played aggressive then with jockeys. He got the W. And Horn is two wins away from winning the fourth set, and that'll be the match. 